Hello everybody, I'm the Xanthar Gamer, also known as Frank, and today I am bringing you yet another episode of Spyro the Dragon 1, specifically from the Spyro Reignited Trilogy. I'm going to go ahead and roast this pork, and uh, let's see, I believe I'm almost done with the Beast Crafters world. I'm really knocking these out quick, at least quicker than I thought I would. Metalhead. Rock on, you crazy suckers. Wait a minute. I think I'm missing a level. Yeah, I'm totally missing a level. Hang on a minute. I shouldn't be ready to take on Metalhead just yet. Ah, there we go. There's the level I was missing. Treetops. Also known as Leafy uh, Nightmare. Oh, you guys have no idea what you're about to witness. I, I, uh, this level. I think it was this level that I've always had trouble with anyways. 7,000 gems. A nice even 7,000 gems. Okay. Seriously? You know, I don't think I would want to live in a world where bananas can hurt you. That's just ridiculous. Let's see, yeah. Oh, joy. Alright, who are you? Lyle. Spyro, for an amazing tour of the treetops, don't just stop at one supercharge. Ah. And that's all Spyro had to say about that, I suppose. I love doing that. Well, I imagine it probably ain't gonna look good on the capture, though. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, that's fair. Why not? That's that's fine. That's it's my it's really it's my own fault for trusting the game mechanics to work. Bunch of jerks. Extra life. That's always nice. Alright. So, this level gets kind of crazy with the design of it. And, of course, I forget that I have to charge into that, so now I can't. Huh. There are just so many things going against me here. Not sure I understand. Not sure I understand how that works. Let's see. extra life, because I am absolutely going to need them on this level. But of course... Did 
jump too soon. Yay. Let's see. So, they got a little too cute, I feel, with the, the level design in this one. Oh, yeah. Alright, so, what, I'm just stuck? I don't know where I'm supposed to go other than where it obviously is leading me. So, you know what? Screw it. I'm going this way. I forged my own path. Of course, it wouldn't course it wouldn't have anywhere for me to go other than here which I think this is actually the start of the level yay haha <laughs> go well at least they went in their sleep oh I forgot I had that key And yes, the extra lives that I sometimes get is absolutely why I always make sure to... Isaac! Why I always make sure to, uh... Spyro, flame all you the, uh, the end of a fodder enemies. Ramp. You can really go far. I'm all over it. Jump at the tail end of the supercharge ramp, huh? Oh yeah, that's... Okay, I don't know what just happened there, but fine. I really don't remember how I'm supposed to... I'm gonna have to go long on this episode too because I don't remember how I'm supposed to do this because there's a lot of areas that I need to supercharge in order to get to if I'm remembering correctly and I don't very specifically man I hate that I don't remember you know what, I think I'm supposed to try and jump over here in order to supercharge and jump over there, if I remember correctly, so I'll try to, if I keep having to do this over and over again, I'll cut this part out of the video, but if I'm able to get it this next attempt, then I'll just leave it in. Okay, so far so good. Oh, come on! Dang it. Was that a dead end? I don't know if that was a dead end or if I'm just stupid. Nope, it wasn't a dead end. Yes! Oh, he only had a gem. Did I already get all the eggs in the, uh, worlds? Alright, so I gotta go that way. So, back to... Well, crap baskets. Dang it. This way.
this way. Sparks point the way. What are you pointing to? How do I get over there? Nope, that ain't it. So, die. I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and edit if uh, I end up having to do too many deaths too often. So I think go down here, jump this way, jump this way, jump this way, and I think I made it. Haha! -ha. Vindication. Jed. Jedediah. That was quite a ride, Spyro. You learned a lot since you were a young glider. Yeah, well, you could have found an easier spot to get stuck. <laughs> Just shrugs his shoulders. Whoops. Guess I'm the jerk. Yes. Yes, you are. Alright, so that's this level complete, and you know what, I'll go a little... Oh wow, I might actually be able to just take on Metalhead, if I can get to that uh, part soon. Wait, is this level complete? Yes. Alright, so on to Metalhead, and I think... Once I beat Metalhead, I'll go ahead and call this an episode. To Metalhead! Hm. I'm actually going to end an episode on a boss fight. Or at, after a boss fight, anyways. 7500. I love when it's just a nice, even... I gotta wonder what decides whether or not he uh, decides to... What, like, what decides whether or not he uh, does the super high loop de loop? <clears throat> like, is it determined by how long the level is taking to load? Because you'd think that that would just be the loading time when he's gliding there, not after he's already gotten to the level. I don't know. Is there something that determines why he does it? I just don't know what it is.
You know, I wonder if originally they wanted the monkeys to be throwing bananas. Like, somehow I just know that that's not what they originally had planned. Oh wow, if they... Haha! Epic Doge! Sadiki! Metalhead is all charged up to meet you. Attacking the power pole should disrupt his power supply. Okay, why are there no female dragons? I, I specifically remember there's not any female dragons in any of these games now that I think about it. Who laid the eggs? Just gonna go ahead and ignore. Oh. I didn't realize that I could destroy the power pylons myself. Alrighty then. And, yeah, I'm just gonna ignore the fact that you never find any male dragons in this. Okay. Alright, I'll just cut this part out. Alright folks, and I'm back. Had to dig uh, Christmas decorations out of my closet. So, when we last... Or, I'm acting as though I'm starting off a new episode. Uh, we left off right before another segment of fighting... Uh, Big dude. Not really sure why destroying all those killed um, the monkey. Not sure how I'm supposed to get up there either. Well, I'm sure I'll figure it out. Let's just go ahead avoid that. The episode's almost done, ladies and gents. I just, as always, I want to... And I will try with uh, the areas that I have had trouble with, I will try to edit down the uh, hunt to figure out where to go. Because I know you guys don't want to sit there and watch for like 10-15 minutes me just run around like a chicken with its head cut off trying to figure out where I'm supposed to go like now. I keep trying to do the flutter hop or the flutter fire ah okay I, I completely forgot about this area which I think is fairly obvious. So yeah, now you guys, if you're uh, playing along at home, um, now you know. I always really liked that they programmed it where if you uh, run through the treasure chests, it kind of just sends the gym careening directly into you. Maybe not careening, that that makes it sound like it's a bad thing. But the gym just, like, you don't have to go back for it. It doesn't just pop out of the chest and then boom, you know. Alright, so that's that done. Back to where Metalhead was.
I also really like that in the first game they had the boss fights be like set up in their own like world kind of or their own little level. In the second and third games, the boss fights, you go in and you pretty much just fight the boss. It, it, I don't know, it, it always felt special when you would get it, get to a boss in this game. And whereas in the second and third one, it's just like, oh, boss fight, okay, whatever. You know? But it's like, in this one, oh, you actually have to explore, kind of, and try to find the boss, kind of. Eight thousand. You know what? I'll, I'll let this go a little longer just so that we can get to the new world together. And then, uh, well, yeah, you know what? Yeah, I'll just kind of edit down the episode. Oh, I feel much better now that so many dragons have been rescued. Jump in the balloon, and I'll show you the Dreamweaver's world. Are you ready to go? Yep. Ah, the dream weavers. Dream weaver. I don't think I know the words to this song. <sighs> ah. I wish I was actually a good singer. I can sing slow songs fairly decently but I love metal and there's not really a lot of slow metal songs if any that I honestly I don't really know of any slow metal songs anyways welcome to dream weavers and this this is the world with the level I was talking about with the castle that has the little thing off to the side of it that I couldn't figure out but anyways I'm going to go ahead and leave it off here. If you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. And ring the notification bell to be informed of when I uh, upload new videos. And I will see all of you in the next one. Bye!